if you think about the graphical representation of a complex number, you will realize that we can talk about two things, length and angle. Being the length of a complex number, this distance here, that is usually denoted by r, and is also called modulus. And then the angle that your complex numbers form with the horizontal, that we can call theta, and is also called argument. If you consider the modulus and the angle in a complex number, you can talk about a different form that is not the Cartesian form, which is the one here, but is called the polar form of a complex number. The polar form of a complex number is about writing your complex numbers in terms of r and theta rather than in terms of x and y. To get the polar form of a complex number, just think about can you write x and y, which are the Cartesian coordinates, in terms of the modulus and the angle? Trigonometric ratios will help you with that. So just think about the graphical representation of a complex number. So we have x and y, which are the Cartesian coordinates, and then we have r, which is the modulus, and theta, which is the argument. Looking at the whole picture, you would realize that we have a right angle triangle, and therefore we can talk about trigonometric ratios. Now, if we think about x, can you find a trigonometric ratio that is relating x, theta, and r? Cos of theta is actually x over r, since it is, since it is the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, which allows you to write x in terms of r and theta. If you want to get x by itself, you just need to multiply across by r, so we get x is equal to r cos of theta. So that is the x written in terms of modulus and angle. Now, if we do the same with y, we can relate y, r, and theta by using sine of theta, which is y over r. And that gives us y is equal to r by sine of theta, which means we start off with a Cartesian form and we replace x by r cos of theta and we replace y by r sine of theta and I'm going to use brackets here so you don't get confused and you don't think that i is only multiplying to theta then we have almost what is called the polar form of a complex number. If we take just r as a common factor, then we have r by cos of theta plus i sine of theta. z equals r by cos of theta plus i sine of theta is what is known as the polar form of a complex number. Just know that I have written i first rather than at the end as here, so you don't really need to use brackets in this case.